Gaffer, three points at Stoke City. Your overall thoughts this afternoon? Well, overall thoughts are delighted with the points, of course. We came here to win. We, we talked about that as a group before the game. Let's not go and try and hang on. Let's not try and um, see if we can make life difficult for them. Let's go and try and be positive. And yet, I'd have to say Stoke uh, were more progressive than I've seen any Stoke team in a, in a few years. And I think there's a lot of credit to Stephen Schumacher for, for putting them on the front foot and... and, and playing some good football I thought first half we were constant threat you know a thorn in their side really even though we couldn't get control of the game we looked as if we could break away and, and damage and obviously Jay an amazing finish so clinical um, but a few other half chances that I thought we were going to score again first half um, looked pretty solid Second half, I think I, I think maybe the team hadn't been used to once we scored the second I don't think the team had um, used to Keep going, two 0 up. They almost went into protect mode, and you know it's frustrating on the sideline trying to get messages across. And yet we had a lot of men behind the ball and stopped playing forward as much and stopped running forward as much. And um, I think we got into that defensive mode, uh, which is difficult to change. I, I put the third centre half on because I, I could see they were putting a lot of balls into our box, and, and Longy could make help us in that area. Um, yeah, so a bit frustrating the last. Half an hour of the game, I would have to say, but um, we got the job done. I'm so pleased for the supporters who came today, you know, in huge numbers behind that goal, and um, just for them to see their team win and then celebrate at the end. And great to hear them all singing. And um, hopefully, we can give them lots of days, you know, days out at away grounds where they can see a team winning football matches. Plenty of hard work put in, a lot of nice attacking play, but this, the ball still has to be put in the back of the net. Mm. And lovely finishes from Jay and Janinho. Alisson, they were amazing finishes. I mean, it's like a rocket off Jay's foot in the first half. You know, he nearly took the net off the goals. But um, he's, he's a, a diamond of a lad, a brilliant kid who you know looks you in the eye, runs, works. He's you know he's cramping up right at the end, and um, but amazing. And Bakuna, you know, I've, I've said to the lads, he's mad as a hatter, and yeah, but what a what a talent he is, you know. I've just got to keep trying to wring it out of him, really, and give him the confidence and the belief to, to be the player we know he's, he's got inside him there, you know. Players of talent as that sometimes have a little bit of petulance in them and stuff, but um, I thought he was amazing today. You know, let's just keep pushing him in the right direction and hopefully he can bring more goals and more happy days for our supporters in the future. At the other end of the pitch, Christian Bielik deployed at centre back again. What did you make of his performance? Solid, steady. Composed. Um, I want to be able to. I want to. Be, I want some composure from the back. Really, I want to be able to pass the ball through the lines. And yet, it's um, yeah, it's it's, it's a dynamic. I, I thought he did well enough. You know, he he was involved in their goal, Hull's goal midweek. He, you know, he, ball bounced off his knee, but it, it didn't directly lead to the goal because they still had to cross it in the middle where we should have defended it better. But um, yeah, I think he's. I think he's. Big, he's strong, he's composed with the ball, he's he's relaxed. Um, hopefully, we can dominate games moving forward and, and see. Now, it's it's. I, I just keep talking to him. Really, I think it's a lot different from playing in midfield, but I do think it helps him without everything going on around him all over. You know, behind him or come, pressure coming from the sides. I think he can see the game in front of him and he can help us um, play the ball forward and get through the lines of the opposition. It's the first time we've spoken to you since Andre Dizel arrived at the football club. He had his first game time for Birmingham City during the second half. What does he bring to the group? Quality, um, forward passing, composure with the ball, wand of a left foot. Um, I'm, listen, the aim for this football club is that we go to every every ground and, and every time we play at home and we have a majority of the ball and the most shots and you need footballers who can deal with the ball to do that. Now uh, we have to keep working with the players that we've got because for a long time they haven't really been asked to um, try and dominate the ball um, having managed teams against Birmingham at St Andrews generally they're really solid it's hard to get into their box it's hard to score they've made lots of men behind the ball and maybe that's why today when they sunk back into that shape they did it pretty well they blocked things they headed things out um, you know, Cody's disappointed because the goal we could have avoided the goal. To be honest, he could have cleared it left foot. He left it and didn't realise the boy was behind him. But um, but generally, I'm happy with them all. I think um, we're just trying to create an identity that when the supporters see Birmingham City play, we're generally going to have the ball and we're attacking and we're getting it to Bakuna and Dembele 
and Kyoji and JJ and, and all these players who can manipulate the ball and cause problems and um, that's what we're going to try and do. Today was difficult because we played against a pretty decent team who have gone seven unbeaten since the new manager had come in and and we're the first team to come and, uh, and take the points off them. So delighted, it was never an easy game. They were full of confidence, Stoke, but we, we got the job done. And after three games in eight days, it's a full week of preparation leading up to the trip to Leicester City in the MHS FA Cup. How much are you looking forward to that time on the training ground? Yeah, I think there's lots of work to be done. It's repetition, as I've said from day one, really repetition of good habits. So we know how we want to do it. We'll keep trying to work with them to do it, to be brave, to stay in their positions. Because football is, in my mind, positional. Of course, it's... You wrap it all up with hard work, you wrap it up with um, competitive edge, but when we have the ball, they have to play their positions and it's it's keep showing them, keep stopping it, showing them videos, showing them where we should be, why are you not there, why are you running everywhere? They need to, we need to develop uh, the style where we know what we're doing when we're in possession of the ball and where we're trying to go to hurt the opposition. And the great thing for me is that they look at you, they nod their heads, they listen, they try to do it. Um, and I think we've got a chance of being a pretty decent team moving forward. Thank you for your time. Cheers.